In this video, I'm going to give you a quick preview of the TK Print plugin for Photoshop. This is a cool new tool made by Tony Kuiper, and I helped him develop it. For that reason, my opinion is going to be biased, but I have to say I love it. One of the best things about it is that both the plugin and the video tutorials that I created to go with it are free. You can get them on my website or Tony's website, both of which are linked below. This video will just give you an overview of what the TK Print plugin can do. If you really want to dive into it, just go get the plugin in the tutorials because did I mention that they're free? <laughs> so why did we build a print plugin for Photoshop? Well, Lightroom was designed with an organized printing workflow built right into it. It has a soft proofing interface in the develop module and an entire module just for printing. This makes printing in Lightroom really slick. All the same things can be accomplished in Photoshop and some of them with even better results. But as is often the case with Photoshop, the tools and controls are not obvious or straightforward. In our complete course on printing called Producing Better Prints, Zach Schnepp and I teach our printing workflow both in Lightroom and in Photoshop, but Lightroom comes out as the clear winner because of comparatively how simple it is. This plugin is meant to help Photoshop level the playing field. But if printing from Lightroom is so much easier, why bother with printing with Photoshop? Well, just like everything else, Photoshop provides more features, options, and control than Lightroom does, which can lead to better prints. For this reason, I can think of three groups of people who will love the TK Print plugin. First are people who mainly use Lightroom, but would like to learn to use Photoshop to do more things, including printing. Second are people who use both Lightroom and Photoshop, but may prefer to print with Photoshop at least part of the time because Photoshop gives better soft proofing adjustment control and has better ways to size and sharpen print files. Finally, some people don't use Lightroom at all. They use Camera Raw to make raw adjustments and open images into Photoshop. Camera Raw, however, does not have a soft proofing interface or a print module, making Photoshop their main option for printing. So for anyone who wants to print with Photoshop, the TK Print plugin will make printing simpler, faster, and easier to understand. The plugin has seven sections or tabs. When you're ready to print an image, you simply start at the top and work your way down. In the first section, you create a proof copy from your original. You simulate how the print will look using a printer ICC profile. You compare the original with the print simulation and you adjust the print to better match the original. The resize section helps you size the image to the print output size you want. You can either size with Photoshop or you can program this button to open a third party resizing app, such as Topaz Photo AI or Gigapixel AI. The sharpen section helps you apply the right amount of print sharpening based on the paper type and the print size. The action section allows you to run your own custom actions for preparing print files. Examples could be an action for opening a noise reduction app, adding a white border with text to the print file, or creating mirrored edges for printing canvas gallery wraps. How you use this section is entirely up to you and any custom actions you have. The watermark logo section is for adding a watermark logo or digital signature to your print files. For example, I digitally sign prints that I have printed and drop shipped from a lab because I wouldn't be able to sign them otherwise. The adjust clipping section has tools to help compensate for highlight clipping, which can cause gloss differential in glossy prints. It can also be used to apply additional black point compensation to better retain details in dark areas of your print. Finally, the print section provides options for printing on your own printer or flattening and saving the print file for uploading to a lab. If a print comes out too dark or needs more black point compensation, the too dark feature can help you with that. At the end of the printing process, the plugin helps you save and close the proof copy and print file. 
In short, the print plugin puts all the Photoshop tools you need for soft proofing and printing in one organized layout, and it's designed to guide you through the printing workflow, streamline the process, and help you achieve better prints. It's a perfect companion to what we teach in the Producing Better Prints course. So if you print with Photoshop, or you would if there was a better way to do it, then I think you'll find that the print plugin is worth at least 10 times what it costs. Oh wait, that's right. The plugin and the tutorials that go with it are free. Why free? Well, I wanted a tool like this for myself for a long time, and Tony was willing to see if he could create something for me. It turned out better than we expected, and we realized we should just make it available to anyone who wants it. So we hope you find it as useful as we do. I hope you go get it, give it a try, and let us know what you think. Well, that covers it for now. Thanks always for tuning in, and I look forward to seeing you the next time.